Okay, quick preface, you understand what you're about to see in this video. So like, in this video, like I arrive in the island next, so we have to understand like, I was planning none of like my trips. Like I knew the islands I wanted to go to, but I wasn't really like planning where I was gonna stay or like the things I was gonna do. So like, I essentially picked where I was gonna stay for this island of Naxos just because it was the cheapest. But lo and behold, where it was, was in absolute Narnia. Like it was at the far like bottom of the island, like away from the main city, away from all the part, away from everything. It's like, it was near nothing. It was just far out in this secluded little area that was like 40 minute drive from the main town where like all the action and everything was at. So you need to understand that so you understand what you're about to see in this video, which is basically me being in Narnia, trying to walk and find stuff, blah, 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 blah. You'll see what happens in the video. But you can understand it's like it all happened because like I picked a place to stay that was basically far out from nothing. And so, yeah, you're about to see me in the taxi driving to my hotel that was in Narnia. But I will say the people who ran the place that I stayed at, they were very nice and like hella sweet and like very helpful. So like if you're going with like your family and you like a like nice kind of secluded family beachy vibe, like a place to stay, then like I would recommend it for that. But like have a car or something. So that way you can like, if you want to go back to where all the actions or whatever, you can like, you know, drive over there and not have to pay a $500 taxi. It's called Yanis. Yanis uh, restaurant. Now, uh, for the beaches, in Karmedio, here is a very nice beach. It's just outside of us. Mm -hmm. And Pirigaki Village, it's, a, it's a, the closed bus stop I told you before. And also this beach. It's a very nice beach. It's four kilometers. Mm -hmm. There are very nice cafeterias, uh, short tavernas. Here is Axotisa. Axotisa. Here is Olafsey, and on the beach here is uh, somewhere it's uh, Glifada, like the beach, Glifada mm -hmm. Beach Hotel, uh, Beach uh, Sorry Restaurant. I think for one day it's it's enough. It is the, the must see on the island. Must see on the island. Yeah. yeah. And of course, when you when you return in town, uh, the day tomorrow you should visit the castle. Castle. Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Now, so there's like a cool place to see the sunset. Yeah, it's uh, here. It's uh, on this rock here. We have Portara. It's like a an arch, you know. A peak. Yeah, I saw it. When I was coming here. There. You know, this one's there. Gotcha, gotcha. This name Portara. This is the name Portara. Okay. Right. And I was told that like windsurfing or like kite surfing is a big thing here. Yeah, in here. 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 There. sunscreen to be out here in this damn sun just sort of walking walking this very secluded beach in Naxos uh, I'll tell you more in a second one I'm trying to go find somewhere I can get a drink real quick and then I'll update y'all on the situation Uh, 
guys, why does it look like I'm in like fucking Nevada, like in America, or maybe like Arizona have mountains, or like California or something, like just these like dirty mountains. I don't want to say dirty, but like, you get what I'm saying, bro? I feel like I'm in fucking America right now, and like, yeah, I don't know, Nevada, Cali, something like that. Like those places look like this. Guys, the way to get to this area I'm trying to go is like on the other side, but kind of like around this mountain, kind of just like back over there. And like the normal way to walk there, you have to like, I was like up like, kind of like in here. And you have to like go and then like walk all the way up there and then kind of like come all the way back down over here. It's like a 35 minute walk, but my idea is maybe I can attempt to just hike up this and go over and take like a straight path rather than like a zigzag and zigzag back. So we're about to attempt to hike up there. go swimming it's like I can go swimming everywhere like to me it's like swimming one is not entertaining for y'all to just watch me swimming and two it's like yeah I don't know it's like I'm going to some other islands it's like where I can literally swim anywhere to me beaches are beaches they're all the same like blue water and sand and you go and you get, <laughs> get wet and swim it's like I can do that everywhere, so I don't want to spend my only time here, which is just like the rest of today, just swimming. But I am about to attempt to go like kite surfing or like windsurfing. If I can make it to this area, we'll see. Because that actually sounds kind of fun. Oh, it's just nothing but loose 
rocks and cobwebs. It's like now that I've already hiked up here, now I have to hike all the way freaking back down over there. So this should be fun or interesting or something like that. Yeah, maybe just taking the road up and around would have been quicker, bro. Because what the fuck am I doing up here? Like, what the fuck, Jalen? How am I getting down from here? Why am I up here? And, bro, I'm doing all this in slides. I didn't even wear shoes. I'm not going to the beach. What the hell? What am I doing up here, guys? Like, guys, if I run into any type of, like snake or anything up here it's really just over for me like my feet are not close to a shoe so i can't really do the whole like kick the snake in the head technique like i'm just fucked bro so snake stay away don't jinx myself and bro the other side was like nothing but rocks and shit but this shit has all these bushes and she's like how am i getting down through all this what the hell bro Bro, I wish I, I own a drone, but I forgot to bring it and I wanted to. But I wish I would have, I definitely could have taken some cool, like, high up drone shots, like, over showing everything and have it, like, follow me hiking up and then coming down. Like, that could have been such cool, like, B roll or, like, cool, like, stock footage for, like, you know, TikToks and YouTubes and stuff. Like, fuck, bro. Back them in such, like, that was such a perfect place to have a drone. Bro, not even gonna lie, when I just stepped past that, I looked down and saw it and I thought it was like a landmine I was about to blow up. Imagine? Actually, maybe we shouldn't imagine. That sounds pretty painful. Actually starting to sound nice so just go take a quick dip in the pool but it's like i'll go to the pool and i get to this other beach i'm trying to get to bro i kind of you know, time crunch like always because well let me just fill y'all in finally okay just because this next clip is freaking hella windy rather than have y'all listen to the windy clip i'm just gonna voice over the clip and tell you basically what the clip says and in a quicker summary basically more of what i'm what i'm saying in this clip is basically that if y'all are going to the greek islands make sure that like you're staying in the action you're staying near the places you want to be like in the main towns like basically every island has its main touristy town stay there because it's where all the restaurants all the touristy things all the clubs all the everything is and like if something else is farther away from that main town then there's always something running there like a bus that will run to it or this that or a third a taxi or whatever but like don't just pick the place you want to stay based on wherever it's the cheapest like even if it's like 20 30 40 dollars a night cheaper it's still better to pay that extra money to stay to be in the place than to not because i had to pay a 50 dollar taxi from the port to where I was staying, then I end up having to pay like, uh, you're gonna, actually I'm not even gonna tell, but like basically I end up paying for more taxis and like I end up paying so much more in taxis than I would have paid if I just like paid for a more expensive room to stay in an actual main place as well. It's like, yeah, so, or, you know, rent like a scooter, rent a bike, rent something, but make sure you have like an actual motorcycle license because that was my problem. I didn't have the license so I couldn't rent it. But yeah, like, even if you have, like, a car, at least then it's, like, you can drive around to go see things if you're going to stay far. Like, you can stay far out and, like, it's beautiful, it's remote, it's whatever. But, like, you know, like, my problem is, like, in these islands, there's only, like, 20, 30 taxis. And so, like, the taxis are basically always in the main towns, only running, like, in the main town. So, like, when you stay far out, you can't just, like, simply call up a taxi. Like, there's no taxi near you. There's no taxi that can come as well. It's, like, you know, like, that ended up being my problem is that... Like, I just couldn't do anything this whole day because I was just so far, or the day prior, because I was just so far from everything, and there was no taxis anywhere, no scooters anywhere. So, like, the day before this, I basically did nothing, and today, as you're seeing, like, I just ended up walking for freaking hours because, like, there was no taxis, no nothing, no way to get anywhere, I had no scooter. And, like, there was buses, but, like, the buses only run certain routes, and I actually ended up missing the bus 
which didn't help I was like I wasn't trying to make the bus but still even then the buses only run like two three times a day to these four out places but yeah moral of this clip is just like make sure you're staying in the main town because if not you're just gonna get screwed over they might be closed but like I'm attempting Still got like another hour of walking left. Hopefully, I'll find a taxi or some shit. If not, I guess just enjoy the hiking views. I don't freaking know. I thought I was hitting a little Mario shortcut from like up there on the road to just go like straight this way down there where I'm trying to go versus like going all the way up this road and then like or like up the road and like back and around and like think I'm like if I take straight shot straight shots are cheaper but can you see these fucking bushes everywhere sorry for the language but like Bro, I'm walking through cactus minefields. They're not cactus, but they're ass spiky, bro. And I'm in freaking flip flops. Stunning in my Gucci flip flops. Bro, like, oh, I'm. <laughs> Look at this shit. Um, bro. This is not gonna end well. Like, ow, bro. I already have thorns in my feet. I think my foot is bleeding, bro. This shit hurts. Like, what? Why? Why? And I can't even hold my camera because my phone because I need my balance so I don't fall over into the shit. Guys, there's a guy down here. He's not doing wind surfing, but he's doing kite surfing. So I just looked it up and there's a place down here that supposedly should have what I'm looking for. So we're about to ow oh shit. We're about to go down here and see if I can buy this rent this kite surfing stuff down here i wanted to do lessons but maybe we just gotta get the stuff and try it on myself i don't know that there's any more lessons during the day but uh, let's see if i can do it here so i don't have to freaking walk 40 50 more minutes Hi. How's it going? Good. Do you guys do like rentals? Oh. I don't know, for like kite surfing or wind surfing or something like that? Uh, so we provide the supervision for uh, advanced riders. Okay. Did you try before the kiteboarding? I have not. Definitely you have to take a lesson. Have to take lessons? Yes. Okay. And what time are the lessons at? So we start from 9 to 6 p.m. So the first lesson is at 9 a.m. to 11 because it's two hours. Mm -hmm. So 9, 11, one, uh, 11 to 1, and then from 2 to 4 and 4 to 6. Okay. Well, guys, problem now. If you've never done it, you have to take lessons. And at this place, the lesson started at 4. It's 5.30. What the fuck am I doing, bro? Where am I going? Can I just sit and do some research before I walk? Oh, down to this other place and then still can't do it because I need lessons. But like, can I just rent like a surfboard? Like, that could be fun. Let me get a drink somewhere and do some research.
I got my hair wet, my fucking bun is just like flopped over. And that shit's just not, like, they're not standing up anymore. And I don't think I can leave my hair like this, so I might just take my hair out of these. But the problem is, like, everybody wants sunset photos, but, like, if you see, Greg, sunset, you're just black because all the sun, it's like you, you're in the shadow. But, like, if you want to be, like, lit up by the sun, you have to stand on this side. But then you can't have the water behind you, so it's like a lose-lose situation. And that's sort of just my problem in general, is that like, I don't have a photographer, so like a lot of my photos, I just have to prop them up on like rocks and shit. So it's like, I can only take photos where I can prop up my phone to take a photo, if you get what I'm saying. So like, it just makes it hard in general. Okay, please. Water. Okay. <laughs> There's no way this is gonna work, right? <laughs> Can you even see? Bro. It's like if you... That's my ass you're getting me. You know what? Fuck this photo. How about that? Guys, like, I just tried. It's impossible, bro. Like, I'm about to insert this little clip. I was trying to take a freaking photo on my phone by, like, just playing a video and then, like, screenshot on the video, bro. Just watch, bro. I'm about to play the freaking video that I just took. It's, like, it's impossible, bro. Like, I have to go to the front of And it's so windy right now. My phone is being blown over. The waves were, like, trying to sweep my damn phone away. Like, just watch, bro. This is the struggles I have to go through of trying to take a photo without a photographer. And bye-bye to the fine girls. Nothing ended up happening. But it's like, I wasn't gonna ask the fine girls to my photo, because that's just awkward. Especially if it's like a beach photo, and like, I don't have one like a shirt or anything, and I'm sitting like, like, no, that's too awkward. Guys, I bought this freaking thing, thinking, it was an apple. It's not an apple. Like, it's not bad, per se, but, like, what the hell is this? Look. Take a good freaking look. Like, there's lighter parts and then, like, darker parts. This is what it looks like, and this is what it sounds like to bite into it. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's like not like like cracky, crunchy like an apple. Inside almost looks like a pumpkin. But like, it's also not like, it's not a peach, because I know peaches are much more like, not this fucking color. Like there were peaches there, and I didn't get one. It's not a mango, I don't think, because mangoes, one, aren't this shape. Two, they taste like mango. And three, do mangoes have seeds in the center? I don't know. I don't know if this has a seed in the center. I haven't gotten to the center. But I've had mangoes, and I've had peaches. And I've had pears, and I've had plums. And this motherfucker, excuse the language, is none of them. It's an apple, but it's not an apple. So any... Greece, not Greece, any Greek food experts tell me what the hell am I eating? Now I don't know what it tastes like, that's the problem. Okay, I almost want to say it tastes like maybe a pear? I don't know, it's not peachy and it's not mangoey. And it's not apple y. I think this camera is much better than the front facing. Can you see that? Like, right? That area. Like, apples don't have that to it. 
this is what the stem looks like. I don't know if that helps. I doubt any Greek people are even watching. And look, the top of it doesn't have... What? The bottom has... Is this the top? I guess this is the bottom. Bro, so I'm like, what am I eating, bro? Someone tell me. Oh, if you're wondering where I'm going, I have no idea. I've been walking for four hours. And then I stopped to like take pictures. I jumped in the water like a little bit. I even brought my GoPro and everything. I was gonna be in the water, but like at this point, most places are gonna close at eight. It's almost eight. So, the only thing I'll be doing any windsurfing today, but I still have other islands I can do the windsurfing on. I just thought this was a good one to do it on. And it is windy as shit, bro. Like it's been windy all day. But, yeah, the one surfing might have to happen somewhere else. I don't know where I'm going. I'm really just walking and walking in the wrong direction. There's, like, this cool area. Oh, look at the doggy. There's this cool area to see the sunset, and that's where I'm trying to go. But I don't think I'm going to make it in time. So, who knows what the hell I'm doing. It's just an adventure, guys. Okay. <laughs> it's just one big Naxos Greece adventure. Look at the sun. Bam! And also, this is what I mean by like all beaches are the same. So I don't want to get what people mean by like popular beaches. Like, they say, like, oh, this. Yeah, beach is good, but like the one back there wasn't. Like, bro, I've been walking the same coastline for four hours. They're all the same damn shit. And that goes with every island, everywhere. It's like, the coastline of every island is the beach. And truth be told, they're all the same. Alright okay, guys, just enjoy the coastline while I talk. Because I don't know what else to do when I'm walking, so... Might as well talk to y'all. And let y'all enjoy my shaky-ass camera hand in the beach. Mm. I saw this TikTok the other day, and it was like, no, it was like a YouTube video talking about like how to grow your like YouTube or things like that. And well, one of the tips was in what this guy's video was about, or that this guy said was that like videos can't just be about like you and be like watch me just because watch me. You have to like be giving something back for the people to take away that they want to watch, whether it's like. They gain news about the world. They gain education, whether you're doing like an education video or like unboxings. Maybe people would like watching unboxings or like entertainment or like whatever it is. People have to take something from the video. It can't be watching me because watching me could be because like they get laughter, they get entertainment, they get news. But like I said, whatever, whatever, whatever. When I saw this, I was thinking about like me and this and my channel. I was thinking like, I think entertainment is what I try to give and what I hope people take from this but like I don't know when this video will be, will be posted but whenever you're watching this comment below whether this is the first video you've seen or the 50th what do you take from these videos why do you take nothing that would be a shame don't say nothing. But like, is it entertainment? Is it laughter? Is it like travel tips? Is it just because you want to see what the world looks like? Is it something you watch while you go to bed? Like, what is it you get from these videos? Comment below. Cause I would love to know. Bro, holy shit, this dog just, oh, the dog's taking a shit, never mind. Obviously for you guys, like, I try to do things that are, like, entertaining, which is why I don't just sit at the beach all day, because, like, what the hell do I record there? So, like, I try to find things that are entertaining, but, you know, I don't know, like, how entertaining this fucking walk has been. But, if you're just coming here, or maybe it's, like, any of, like, the islands, well, not the, like, popular ones, because you don't have this, like, peaceful remoteness, but, like, any of the less popular ones... Like here, Naxos, for example. 
like doing what I'm doing, like, again, I don't like it because, like, I want stuff I can record and make content of. But, like, if you just came here with, like, your girlfriend or something, or just, like, your boys, like, your family, whatever, like, you could definitely just, like, do this. Just, like, walk the coastline. Like, it's very much, you get to see the sunset. Like, just walk the coastline for, like, a couple of hours. Like, it is peaceful, relaxing. Like, I've stopped and got a lot of drinks at places and got this mystery fruit and like you can stop at some of the beaches take a dip and then like you know get back up and keep walking stop at little restaurants while you walk like, it very much is like an itinerary day that like you could put on your itinerary just like a walk the coastline day because it is peaceful and gives you a lot to like gives you time to see a lot of things you can just like talk with whomever you're with and like or if you're by yourself you could do it again the only reason i complain is because I don't know how entertaining it is, but yeah, I would recommend. It's been it's been a peaceful couple hours. Well, guys, update. I don't know where I'm at. What I'm doing. My plan was to walk, like from down here, up here to this town, then get to do the windsurfing. Then I found out. Well then, actually, I got to like here, and uh, but the guy said I had to have taken lessons to do the windsurfing. So then I kept walking to here, but then by the time I got here, it's like eight o'clock and all the places closed at 10 o'clock, so now it's too late to even do the windsurfing. So I was like, okay, fuck the windsurfing. But then I was like, if I walk to like this town here, that, um, I could then get a bus up here to like the main town and then everything's there so then I can like take taxis or do whatever from the main town. But I got here and the last bus was like 30 minutes ago. So now I'm like, what do I do? Because to walk back down, it's like another four or five hours, bro. I didn't know they had that in me. To get up to the freaking main town is probably like two hours. So uh, walking that is. So, um, to the one at the hitchhiking, which hitch at this point maybe hitchhiking is the best option. Maybe I should have just tried hitchhiking from the beginning, but I didn't. But also, people don't speak that good of English, but also, I don't know. Two, pray for a taxi, or three, I just came to this rental car place to try to get a car for tonight, and he says no more cars. So now I'm wondering, like, are there any other rental car places in this area? Because this is like kind of like a little mini town that seems to have some buildings so now i'm wondering if there's anywhere else here that i can get a car from because at this point it's already nighttime so if i could just run a car for like 50 dollars for like just tonight and then bring it back tomorrow morning that would be beautiful so that's what i'm hoping for now also we sort of missed the sunset so oops but what can i do Oh, guys, it's gotten pretty dark now, and now I'm just sitting in the middle of nowhere. I called this car rental company. He said they're availability. So he's checking to see if somewhere else will, for tonight, deliver me a car right now. He said for 90 euros, but like, bro, for 90 euros just for the rest of tonight seems kind of crazy. But we'll see if he calls me back. If not, I swear I'm sleeping on this fucking beach until tomorrow morning and taking a bus. Anyhow, look, wait what i got to the center of this weird fruit that's a peach no isn't it peaches that have this weird shit bro this is no fucking peach bro i know peach flavor i have peach tea or what is this maybe seeing the inside will help y'all determine wait hold up can somebody tell me what this is is peaches have like the apricot or something in the center, right? Or whatever, the seed like this? I don't know, but yeah, maybe now somebody will better know what the hell I'm eating. Oh my goodness, guys. I freaking been calling all these car rental places. They're all saying that they don't have any cars for the rest of tonight. Finally, I call a place that has a car for tonight and they tell me they only have fucking manual, bro. Your opinions in this manual shit. It's like, apparently it's the thing here. Like, so many places people talk to, they, they basically tell me that they all drive manual here. Like, they, like, the other places do have automatic, but like, again, those ones are not trying to rent me shit. 
Okay, so yeah, I ended up just getting like late as shit at night. I got to like 11 o'clock at night. And I just, yeah, basically, I was promise y'all, I was just planning on like just sleeping outside. I was like, no way, maybe I just shouldn't sleep outside. But I was highly debating it. But then, yeah, I just kept trying to freaking get a car. I kept trying somebody to give me a car. Nobody wanted to give me a car. Uh, and then, like, I found some, but they were only freaking manual. But then, I don't drive manual. The ones automatic, I couldn't get. So then, I was basically screwed. Just was, like, starting to walk back. But you have to remember, like, I walked, like, five hours to get to, like, where I was. Like, I had been walking all day. And I didn't want to walk five hours back. And I hadn't eaten nothing all day, really. So then I went to some random restaurant I found at, like, 11 o'clock at night. That, luckily, was, like, basically open all night. And got this fire ass lamb there that was hella good. And then, which on that note, I swear I think like lamb is like the national dish, dish of Greece because I basically everywhere I went, when I asked somebody what their favorite thing was, they would always tell me lamb. Like they would tell me lamb was the most popular thing. And the lamb was always pretty good. But yeah, so I went to some random restaurant, got some lamb. Then I basically couldn't figure out how to get like work the taxi system there. Like, you know, it's like you have to remember it's like, one, yes, I was far from where I was staying, but also it's like there's only like X amount of taxis on these islands. So there's maybe like 20, 30 taxis total on these islands. And so like they're only running from like the main big like cities or like towns. And so like, and I wasn't in one. So like I couldn't just like go to a taxi stop where I was or just like quickly call up a taxi. Like all the taxis were all like in the main town running people from the main town to you know their hotels or around the town because like that's where people come in from like that's where the port is and so that's where all the taxi people hang out so like i couldn't figure out how to get the taxi thing to work i think i tried to somewhere going on some taxi website but it just basically wasn't working um so then yeah after i ate i essentially had the people who like worked there or i think actually i called a taxi at some point and the lady like couldn't understand what i said like i told her the name of the restaurant she was like Basically, she act like I was stupid. And Loki sort of pissed me off because she's like, no, that's not a restaurant. You're obviously spelling it wrong. You're obviously saying it wrong. Like, that's just not a restaurant here. I'm like, bro, lady, I promise you I'm here. Uh, she was like, okay. She was like, and then she like put me on with like the people. So I basically gave the phone to like my waiter and have had him tell her where I was. And he literally told her the freaking address that I had been saying. And then, yeah, I basically the, my waiter or like the restaurant people called me a taxi and they basically waited there like after hours with me then the taxi came picked me up took me freaking like 30 minutes back to where i stayed and he was like it was funny my taxi driver was like bro he's like why are you staying way over here and i was like bro i don't know whatever whatever and i told him i had walked to where i was and he was just like so sorry. he's like no way you walked this far i was like yeah so then, yeah, freaking by a miracle, somehow, late as shit at night, maybe like 1 or 2 a.m., I don't even remember. Got back to my hotel, went to sleep, woke up the next day, I had the freaking ferry at 12.50, and yeah, so I took another $50 taxi. It took, the one to get me back to my room was $50, then the one to get back to the port the next day was another $50, and the one to my hotel originally was $50, now I spent $150 on taxis, like, hopefully this goes to show y'all that these taxis are like they are just blown out of proportion so like you need to make sure you're staying in the main area so you can just walk everywhere or make sure you one can rent a car or rent a motorbike rent a scooter whatever do not take taxis they are ridiculous and like you it'll just be so much cheaper if you didn't um and then yeah the next day i took the taxi back to the port area and that's where we're gonna pick up Check. Um, yeah. 
Also. Also? Oh shit. I missed my ferry because I fell asleep last night. Before I set an alarm, I was like, okay, let me close my eyes and think about what time I have to set my alarm. And then my eyes didn't open until like an hour and a half ago. And like I said, I was staying in absolute Narnia and the fact that I can't really get here. And it takes like text to for really get like it took for to get to my hotel and to go to get back. So I missed that, so then I had to pay for a new ferry, which is going to leave for like another hour, and that was like another $50. I'm just wasting money on this island without doing shit. I have paid three fifty dollars taxes and a dollars ferry. And for what, I've been here two days, and all I did was walk for 50 hours. So that's great. But yeah, so now I wait on the ferry, and yeah. Follow, wait, let me check. Okay, he was... Don't the hair, we don't talk about it. He was the guy of, yeah, archery, like dance, music, philosophy, truth, and stuff like that. But archery was one of them. Not hunting and gathering, that must be somebody else. But I did get the bow and arrow part correct for archery. The water is very blue, guys. I must say, like, it's got that just bright blue prettiness to it. Guys, the lady asked if the Santorini, if the strawberry daiquiri is frozen, and she said no. Which I don't know what strawberry daiquiri is not frozen. And then she said, like, she's like, we don't have frozen fruit. And I was like, well, can you just make it and then just blend it with ice? And she said, yeah. So like, you want it this way? Bruh. They just put ice cubes in it. This is not blended with ice. Okay, the island access, I'll give like. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I didn't get to do a bunch of the hair because I like stayed so far. Like I'll give it a seven out of ten, and that's like a generous. Like based off what I did, I give it like a six point eight. But like assuming that like if you stay closer, you get to do more fun stuff, and I got to go like kite surfing and stuff. Like I'll give it like an extra point two. So like I'll say a seven out of ten. But like it could be higher or lower depending on like how fun or not fun the other stuff to do is if I wasn't staying in Narnia. So yeah, it's hard to tell, but sure, I'll give it a seven out of 10 for now.